All right, we're geeking out here. We are a week away from the first total solar eclipse in almost 100 years. Look, you want to be able to experience this what? thing. It's very rare. You want to see it. You know you're going to want to look mm -hmm. up. But you have to do it safely. This is legit. This is a real danger for your eyes if you stare at an eclipse. So thankfully, we have our kitchen pantry scientist, Liz Heineke, and you are going to show us how to make a safe solar viewer. I am. A friend of mine has a hole in her retina from the 79 eclipse. Yeah. It's she, a yeah, real thing. It's a real thing. Don't, wow. don't look at the don't sun mess without okay. protection. Don't look at it. So you have a couple so, options, right? couple options. You can either, and they're running yeah. out, okay. so order ahead. You can either order ISO approved solar viewing glasses. You oh. can see it's completely black. You yep. can't we see, see anything. Nothing. We see nothing. Nothing at all. Okay. Um, make sure they're legit. They're serve, go to NASA's website. I mean, they if have this a is link. what it looks like, why don't you just close your eyes? It's just totally dark. <laughs> no. No, no, that would not work. No, don't listen to Jason. All right. <laughs> Another great option if you have kids is to build a pinhole viewer. This is yeah. super easy. I remember um, this when I was in school. Yeah, me too. So basically, you take a shoebox. Okay. You cover one end with white paper. You cut a notch out of the other end. You tape aluminum foil onto this end. Okay. And then you use a pin to poke a single hole kind of right in the middle of the foil. Okay. Just make it a little wider than the pin. And here's one that's finished. What that does is it allows the sunlight, you stand with the sun behind you, it allows the sunlight to come through this hole. It flips the image, but it projects it really oh. nicely. Can you see that on yeah. this white right. paper? Huh. And it's kind of nice. You can also do the same thing with index cards. So if you're at the office, you don't have time to make a pinhole viewer. Right. Take two index cards, poke a hole in one, stand with the sun behind you, and you can project the image onto oh, this cool. piece of paper. You know what I like about that? Because it's going to be an experience for like all of the senses to get that instant darkness yes. that happens around yeah. you. To not have to wear those glasses and just kind of do it that way, I think would be really neat. I think it is cool. You can use a colander. Same oh, thing, right? Same the effect. light comes through the holes. It projects it on the concrete under the colander yeah. if you set it down. So lots of neat ways, safe ways to watch the eclipse cool. indirectly. The glasses are direct. Um, some activities to get kids excited about the eclipse. So while we're waiting, so around here the eclipse will start around 11, right? Yep. Right. Um, it peaks out at about 106, but while you're waiting for it to happen, if it's a bright sunny day, a couple things you can do. Um, you can put some things on construction paper and make your own sun prints. So obviously this will be less effective yeah. as the sun is covered by the moon. But, but. Um, but you can also, at the beginning, you go out at 11, stand with the sun behind you in a magnifying glass. Try and Focus pop the light on that. the balloon, Fun. pop the balloon. Showing the Super strength cool. of the sun. Yeah. The print, by the way, what? You put like a leaf on top Leafs, of the paper? Flowers. Or flowers. Yep, put a little plastic sun. on it, pin it down. Yep, after yeah. a couple hours, couple the sun hours. will bleach. It breaks down. The UV lights are so powerful, they break down the dyes in the paper. Wow. They bleach out the paper. Science Museum in Minnesota is having a viewing party. You can go there and watch the eclipse. Um, NASA, if it's a cloudy day, go to NASA.com. They will have, you know have the, the best bats. resource yeah. ever, but you can um, watch the eclipse live on NASA.com. You gotta yeah. move with people who are traveling <gasps> anywhere in the country. Which and you're you're going. We're going to St. Joseph, Missouri. Oh, Super oh, excited. Yeah. Like, is, we'll be able, if, if it's clear during right. the total eclipse, mm -hmm. we'll be able to see the stars oh, during don't the day. These. Liz so. has all of this information at kitchenpantryscientist.com. <laughs> Go anything. to wcco.com slash links and we will get you there. Thank you, Liz.